in our resources folder, there are four files. One is 1000 words.txt, one is dma.csv, one is properties file, and one is the gz file that we are. And we are using this get file, using this text file method to, uh, to just load one file at, at once, whether it's that this txt file or this gz file. So now using uh, this another way that we can uh, load all the files in the directory and create one RDD out of it. So this is what we are going to test it here. So let's auto insert test method. I will just call it as test loading whole directory files into Spark RDD. Only one method would be good enough to hold to load all those files into one RDD. I'll also put a display name here as the test loading whole directory. Whole directory means the files inside those, those directories. They're written to Spark UD. That's it. Now let me just to save some time, let me copy all this and then we'll modify this. So here, first of all, we'll create a Spark context as always. And now we are going to uh, call some other method. So first of all, let me create the path of this directory. So I'll call path dot off, and then I will pass source test resources dot to string. Okay. So source test test resources means this this path which we are talking about. Where we have got four files. Okay. So now I will pass this control out V and I will mark it as uh, test directory path. Okay. And I prefer to use final war here. Final war. Okay. Now we, instead of calling this text file, because we are doing the whole directory here. So there's a separate method for it, which is called as whole text files. And inside this, I will pass my directory path. Okay, so here, as you can see that it is showing Java pair RDD, which is a sort of like tuple and which in the first argument, uh, there is actually like a very much like a map in, in Java, where we have got a key and value pair. So the key is actually the file name and the value is actually the content of the file. So this is how it is stored in the RDD. Each of the four files would be having and uh, four entries in this Java pair RDD. And the first one would, the key would be the, all this like file name, like 1000 words or txt and all. And the value would be the actual content of those files. This is all done by just one command, whole text files passing the directory path. Okay, so now let's, because we have got this RDD created, a huge RDD created now. Let's uh, write some methods to see that how it works. So first of all, I will total number uh, of files in directory. So I will just put, the total number of files in the directory first. Total number of files should be expected to be four, right? So I will just put it like this, total number of files in, in directory. So uh, first of all, I will, I will give the directory name. So that's correct. And I will equal to and uh, then it will be containing the count of this by using the count it will actually check for all those like the count should be for all the it's very much like size uh, method of uh, of a map in java it will just check that how many key value entries are there in this java pair rdd and it will print it out so let's uh, complete this method here test directory path comma so this test here path is for this placeholder for a directory name and the count will be the number of files. Okay, so let me also change this. Instead, let me delete this. And let's run our basic test case first to see whether our very first uh, SRS, our printf is working as expected. So let's run this unit test. I also placed uh, a square bracket for this battery path to make it intact better uh, to see it when we print it. 
So I just run this. So I expect that uh, the total number of files should be printed as four because we have got four files here. So it's running now. So as expected, total number of files in directory this that we have passed is four. So this is the very first basic uh, like method to call uh, to check the number of files in this RDD. Now let's do some more interesting stuff. So what I can do is that my RDD dot collect collect. I mean it will uh, just take all this into the driver program from where it is running. It will extract everything from there, and then I will call for each. And now inside this, I will pass a lambda. So say I will just call it as a tuple. And then I will create something like this. Uh, let's make format it a bit. Okay. Now we have got this lambda here. Now, first of all, let me print up uh, the file, all the file names. So for this, I will call uh, sort F and file name would be just percent s and percent n so here i will the way we call for java rdd is that we call tuple dot underscore one so what it tuple dot underscore one means that because we know that is a java R, java pair rdd right so in java map uh, normally we call um, get key right but for in our because this is a Spark uh, Java Spare RDD, in that case we can directly call the key, which is then the under as using underscore one. So once you use this, now we can also uh, check some more. I mean, let 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 us try to like print whatever there is in the properties file because it's just a file of uh, only five lines. So let's print it out. So as we mentioned that once we create this RDD, the key is or the tuple dot underscore one this is actually the key which is actually the file name and the value that is tuple dot underscore two that is the file content so let's print out that for the smaller file properties file okay so what i will do is let me create some um, line here first i will just create this line that this is the file and after this i will check that if tuple the file name ends with properties then we can know that this is only, this is only like one property file here that log 4 g dot properties so we'll check this so let me again do this uh, if the file name which is tuple dot underscore one ends with properties okay so we have got this properties file the only one properties file here and then i will print the content of it so I will again use, I prefer printf because it helps to remove that string concatenations. Uh, so content of say file name, right? I will mark it as again percent %s and I will just use a next line to print all this. So first of all, these are the contents of file, say properties, tuple dot underscore one. And in the next, next line, we will actually print the content of this file. Right. S out tuple dot underscore two. Okay. We remove some extra line spaces here. Control Alt L. Okay. So let's revise what we have done. So once we have created this RDD, of this uh, whole directory then we are first of all we are we call this collect method and then we use for each on it so for each of them it would be iterating through this and uh, first we print all the file names so all the file names would be uh, printed here in this in this part after that if the if the file is properties uh, ends with properties then we are also printing the content of the file now let's run this test file test case sorry i'll click on the run button here so expectation is that it will print all the file names it will also print uh, the content of the properties file 
so it has run now so the, let's go line by line for all of these uh, output here i'll just drag a bit okay so total number of files in directory which is already uh, we have run it before it is four so this is printed from this 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 part and now we call this for each method uh, on the uh, my rd dot collect and each of the file would be iterated and printed out uh, whatever we have written here so first was it was it, uh, it checked the file name so 1000 words.txt so here we can see the first file was this 1000 words.txt which was printed the file name here s double underscore one and then we have got this and uh, similarly we get for dma.csv log 4 dot properties but once it comes for log 4 g properties it ends with this property that's why it will go inside this if if log and then it will also print the content of this file. So this is the content which has been printed, which is exactly same as this, this part. So we can compare this, it's exactly same. Okay. Uh, and then finally, uh, we printed the last file name, which is our GZ file. So guys, this was uh, all about uh, this whole, uh, the loading the whole directory. Whenever we load the whole directory, whatever the files are there, it will uh, once we call this whole text files method this is the method that we are using and pass the whole directory path as a string then it will create a tuple which is a java pair rdd with the key as the file name and the value as the content of the whole file if the file is very huge then also it stores like this and then we can uh, iterate through this uh, java pair rdd and do whatever uh, uh, functions that we want to call so in the next video, we will see that how to load a CSV file. Uh, it's very much similar to that how we did for the normal text file. But with the CSV, we have got some very uh, uh, some some useful methods that we can use to uh, parse or manipulate or do some transformations on a CSV file. So see you all in the next video.